Excellent. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Hello. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm choking. What a great way to open up a video. Anyway, we're playing Robocop vs. the Terminator for the Sega Genesis. There's two versions. Actually, three. But I don't really count the Game Boy as any kind of version. Um, but the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis version were completely different. Um, this is based on a comic book made by Frank Miller. Awesome. Um, Frank Miller actually wrote Robocop 2 and 3. I do like Robocop 2 a lot, actually. 3 was atrocious, but he made a comic book that, like, basically showed what he wanted to make, but Hollywood, as awesome as they are, I, I hope I said that sarcastic enough, um, at least now Hollywood, like, they changed everything, and basically that's why 3 and 2 weren't as good as the original, but apparently there's a comic book where it covers what you wanted to originally do, and then he went off, I don't know what came out first, but Robocop vs. Terminator is also, like, based on a comic book he wrote, and if you don't know who Frank Miller is, he also wrote Sin City, which watch the movie if you don't like to read comics because it's basically almost like a one-on-one -on -one, like reenactment of everything I mean it's pretty cool and he also did the Dark Knight Returns and the Dark Knight Strikes Again but we won't talk about that one as much but anyway it'd be cool if they made a movie of this instead of just remaking Robocop but I just don't think it'll happen just because of studio rights and stuff I'm surprised this game happened to be honest with you but um i'm gonna switch it to wimpy because oh it's already on wimpy it knows me because this is a video and i want to be able to show you now super nintendo version covers the comic a lot more prime directive avoid bullets because it had cut scenes, and speaking of prime directives, I thought Robocop and Robocop 2, when he electrocuted himself, didn't have any prime directives anymore. But anyway, I believe this mo version's infinite, infinitely better. It has blood. There is some version of the Sega Genesis that doesn't have blood. I don't know. Super Nintendo's graphics are more stylized. This is that's almost like takes like the Terminator style more, where it's just realistic. It has the RoboCop born. This game is actually rated. Well, they didn't. Ha I don't think it had the ESMB reading back then. So this would have been rated on Sega Genesis like ME13 which would be the equivalent of team today but they pretty much have the Robocop casually walking and shooting stuff down pretty pat we should get off of that Now some weird guns. I guess they took that uh, cue from Robocop 3 where they um, he could switch things on his arm because he really didn't do that in the last. Did I say Terminator 3? I meant to say Robocop 3. If I said Robocop 3, I just sound like an idiot right now. But um, yeah, they took the cue from Robocop 3 where he could basically change the weapons on his arms also the soundtrack's a lot better Sega Genesis usually has shitty music was, at the time there is MA13 and MA17 I don't know how the heck this got an MA13 rating I guess that's why they took the blood out later on you gotta love that grenade launcher sound, I'm telling you. I 
feel like I always make these commentaries really energetic and stuff. And then... And then I realize when I watch them how like drawl and Ben Steinish I sound. Oh, and we're saving hostages. I didn't even look at it. When I looked at it, I was so focused on blowing up stuff. I didn't like really remember to save hostages. I guess I'm a horrible Robocop. But yeah, I don't understand why they had to remake this. Anything, remake the sequel. I'll at least Robocop 3, because like I said, I still like Robocop 2. I don't really see what's wrong with it. People don't necessarily know, but the director of The Empire Strikes Back actually directed Robocop 2. Now, I haven't read either Robocop vs. the Terminator or the Robocop 2 and 3 comic book adaptions, which are supposed to be decent and way better than the movies. I just can't find them anywhere. And I live right near a comic book shop and I haven't seen them, otherwise I'd get it in the heartbeat. But from everything I heard, they're pretty good. Judging from the cutscenes of Robocop vs. the Terminator, that I've seen on Super Nintendo. I stick with 2 and 3 being the better story. Although this makes a fun game. I'd love to see this game made like in a modern day setting. By the way, this is beside possibly the arcade games. I think there was two arcade games. I don't think they made a third one. It's probably sadly the best Robocop game that I've played. The first arcade game was pretty cool. I never played Robocop 2 the arcade game. And I love here how his skin starts to come off. Starts to deteriorate a bit. He gets up. Strangely enough, as serious as the Terminator movies are, like, it still matches the flamboyance of the Robocop series. I don't know why they felt obligated to add sound clips of people saying Terminator. But hey, who's the judge? It looked like a rail gun. Just like the movies, Robocop is very stiff. I'm actually surprised you can climb chains. I love his little acrobatic shooting where he shoots behind him and stuff like that. Making the move. The more and more I think about Robocop 3, the more and more I realize how much it sucked. I love that you get baby food to restore your health. That's an awful big jar of baby food though. virtually indestructible but since it's a game you have to make it challenging so simple things like bullets and crap can hurt you I guess if you follow the rules of the movie like everybody would have to own a rail gun but in the movies he just walks through fire gets shot at whatever I 
love in video games like the bullets are the size of nerf balls. Only in a perfect world, huh? This won't make any sense if you actually watch my videos when I post them, but I am not posting a Snatcher playthrough today. Possibly tomorrow. It's all there. It's not like I'm lacking anything. Just need to add the commentary. But I figured I want to add one thing today. And that thing that I will add today is Robocop versus the Terminator. level despite the uh, voice clips but um this level's music kind of sucks <laughs> I shouldn't laugh um just like my complaints with the Terminator arcade game they need to add more Terminator and Robocop music. Well, that wasn't the Robocop music wasn't a complaint, but they're not adding music to to like the video. Of, they're not adding music that the movies have that the games are based on, which is kind of lame because Robocop and Terminator actually have pretty cool soundtracks. I almost feel like taking off the sound and like doing the Robocop song. Going do 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 do. Apparently Kane made it back. I don't think this is gonna be a I don't think this is gonna be as an epic fight as it was in Robocop 2. And I'm all out of nuke. So I can't even tempt him. I hope he pulls his brains out. He might, actually. I haven't played this in so long. Oh, he is destroying me. And I'm playing Wimpy. Oh, I didn't realize you could just hold them up. I like his yell. capable of actually if you destroy Kane to watch his little monitor like scream but it would be accepted am I even hurting this damn thing about the Super Nintendo version explain stuff like is this a new Robocop 2 or or are they just adding stuff for the sake of adding it I never read the comment the Super Nintendo had cuts man I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this the older I get I don't think I'm as good at a video game anymore <laughs> cool game but I am not replaying this because I will make an extra long video but um yeah if you get a chance to try out this game I recommend it I mean I haven't played in a long time I usually don't, don't suck this bad when I played it because I remember getting really far in this game I don't know if I beat it or not but um if you like this video like subscribe like 
I love people that subscribe. It makes me feel like people are paying attention. Not to be like a attention whore or anything. But then if you're a subscriber and you like this video, thank you for watching. But anyway, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll put up a Snatcher video and possibly another video game normal thing. Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of Genesis because it's my favorite system of, of, I guess, this era. I don't know. Tie between, between NES and um, the Sega Genesis. Super Nintendo has a lot of good games. I'm rambling. And speaking of rambling, there's actually a an NES version of this that was never released, but it's atrocious. But um, anyway. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.